Hi everyone, it is Kato. I trade the custom blight head for a Peter Rabbit toy. Julia sent Peter Rabbit to me with the blight head and some other things as well. Oh, do you see how cute is Peter Rabbit? When I was little, I really enjoyed to watch the tales of Peter Rabbit and other tales from Beatrix Potter. Julia made the perfect copy of Peter Rabbit and I am so happy for this trade. She also sent the hair and the eyes which she will use at her new Blydool. So I could match the colors easier. She will dye the hair to light brown. I got the chocolate as a gift. Julia is very sweet. After I am finishing the sanding, I always start to carve the mouth first. I am using rounded exacto knife to do this. mirror on my desk so I can always check the symmetry. Sometimes I am using a rotary tool, but this time I used only this knife to carve the mouth. After I work a little bit with the mouth, I'm starting to carve the nose. I don't like if it is too pointy, so I am removing the top with the help of a rotary tool. I smoothen the harsh parts with my exacto knife. I didn't film, but I carved the edge of the nose as well, and I added some lines onto the lower lip. After I finished everything, I am sanding down the surface again. I spray the face with water, so the small plastic pieces are not flying everywhere. This is a little bit longer process, so I can watch a movie meanwhile.
we arrive to the painting. To paint the face, I am using ultra fine pastels. For the cheeks, I use a fluffy brush so I can blend the colors well. On the other part of the face, I am using smaller brushes. For the freckles, I mix water with some colors. I already have a tutorial about how I make freckles, so I recommend to watch it. Here is the finished face up. She got eyebrows and gloss to her lips too. I am glad Julia likes the finished doll and I hope you also enjoyed to watch the pieces of the making progress. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you aren't already. Have a good day, see you next time, bye!